Yes, I am here with Tim Redding at Falcon Park here in Auburn. Tim, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Your first year coaching. What I mean, you you're out of baseball, right? 2013 was your last season. Yeah. Well, what, what do you do? You miss it at all at this point? Yeah, I mean, you always miss the competitive nature as far as being out there and, and you know, having the guys behind you battling for, for the ultimate goal of winning a championship for that season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that, that fire will never die, you know, and I think for me, being able to get into coaching right away, um, you know, has really kind of helped fuel some of that fire because it, it's driving me to make these younger kids better. And yeah. it's not about wins and losses at this level. It's about making them aware of, of what's expected of them down the road and trying to get them to that to that point. Do you have a memorable moment in your career looking back at the years you played in the minors and the majors? A little yeah. bit of everything, really. Yeah, there, there's quite a few, yeah. quite a few good and quite a few bad. But, you know, I was fortunate to be able to have both both sides of the story playing for 17 years. Hmm. Um, yeah. Probably one of my most memorable moments is right here in Auburn. My first season as a player was here yeah. when the Astros were here. And, uh, you know, I started uh, started six innings of a no-hitter that we threw here at Falcon Park. <laughs> so, you know, first year in pro ball and being part of something like that is it, it's pretty special. And, you know, and then there's always, uh, you know, getting knocked out of the first inning in a game and, <laughs> you know, so warming up like you've got your best stuff and going out there and not being able to, to make it through two innings. So, yeah. you know, like I said, playing for as long as I did, um, you know, I was able to to accomplish quite a few uh, memories on both sides of the coin there. Yeah, knowing you've, you've done so many different things, you've had so many different experiences, uh, how much is that going to enhance your, your coaching now at this point? Well, I think that's one of the reasons why the Nationals brought me on board. You know, I had two really good years with them in the organization, um, you know, being able to pitch in the big leagues for them for a year and a half. And, uh, you know, it's just a great family here, you know, and, and I use the word family because that's what it is from top to bottom, from ownership all the way down, you know, to uh, to our Dominican Summer League uh, team who's playing right now. You know, once, once you're in this organization, whether you're a free agent from somewhere else or you're drafted by us or whatnot, you're brought in into, into the family, and, and that's what we preach. And, um, you know, I think the, uh, the Nationals organization kind of saw – you know, someone coming off the field and being able to relate with some of these guys at a at an early stage in their career, mm -hmm. you know, m maybe that had some merit for them bringing me on board. And, and you know, I'm just here as, a, as an extension of, of everybody up upstairs and, and trying to filtrate it down through our younger players. Yeah, you touched on it a little bit, but what is your motivation at this point as you work with these younger players and you, you played for so long, it's got to be tough not to go out there and say, oh, I'm pitching in five days. But what's your motivation as you, you know, get up in the morning and work with these guys? To get here and see if the guys have retained some of the things I've, you know, tried to, to in, you know, employ on them, um, whether organizational policy or little tidbits of, of knowledge that I've accrued in my career, mm -hmm. um, you know, why to throw a certain pitch in, you know, in a certain situation or why it's not okay to throw that pitch in a situation, and and you know, you have to re remind them a few hundred times, and you know, but the thing is, is these kids are young. I mean, we're talking right now. We got some 18, 19, going on 20 year old kids, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I've got a 10-year-old son at home, so, you know, not to say that they're, they're too far in between, but, you know, i got to keep telling my own son a lot of times the same things right. in, in, in sports in general. And, you know, some of these kids haven't had the, the ability to be in a, in a professional organization more than a year, mm -hmm. you know, or, or maybe this is their second. But it, it's still very fresh for them, and it's still very – some of these guys, it's their first year playing under the lights. You know, they played in Florida last year, and every game's at noon. You know, Saturdays at 10 a.m., there's, you know, maybe four people watching the game and it's 95 degrees. <laughs> you know, so for these guys to have a couple hundred, couple thousand, the lights on, yeah. you know, it's still new to them. And, and I think, you know, it motivates me to get here and get them better so that when they get to the next level and there's a few more hundred or a few more thousand and the lights are on, they're, they're ready to go. It's pretty exciting you know, to be able to yeah. facilitate that a little bit, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> absolutely. And it, it gives you... You know, as I got older as a player, I, you know, I always kind of seen myself as a player coach, a veteran in the clubhouse, and I would help the younger guys who were coming through. And, and uh, you know, and unbeknownst to me, it was kind of, you know, a pre-molding pre of, of what was to come. And I didn't know what to expect going into uh, the winter meetings this last December looking for a job. And, and uh, you know, 17 years ago, I started my career here, and I'm starting my coaching career. So, you know, there's just a lot of things working for me to, to make this thing come full circle, and, and I'm really honored to be here. Yeah, full circle is definitely way to put it, and you're not from too far away from Rochester, you know, Rochester, New York. That's got to be pretty neat too to know you're you're not too far from home, and it's starting full circle. What's that been like to know you're you're kind of home here? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I'm living with my mom back in Rochester, commuting every day. I, I know a lot of people kind of see that as going, whoa, you know, it's it's 80 miles, but I mean, I, I'm sitting on 490 and 90 for for an hour. You know, it's it's 70 miles an hour, and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> But, uh, you know, going to Batavia, 
20 minutes from my mom's house and you know a lot of fans uh friends and family have come to the two games we've been there so far and we'll go back there a couple more times this year and that's the closest you know i mean 20 minutes is it's pretty close you know it's your backyard but you know it's just nice to be back in in western and central new york and and enjoy a beautiful summer here it's been pretty mild so far and and uh you know it's always good to have a little taste of home yeah definitely and as you look in the next few years here to as you move on and you're coaching what what is your what are your goals at this point other than after this season even well i mean much like being a player it's really out of your control you know if you're a player and you retain knowledge and and, and skills and you apply them into games and, and you move on you, you get promoted and you get the opportunity to to excel at the next level and see what you got um, you know, there's no timetable for me. I mean, ultimately, I, w I would be flattered and honored, and if I work my butt off, and it has nothing to do with how many kids I get to the big leagues. It's mm -hmm. about how I communicate the knowledge that I'm trying to, to get across. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to be a big league pitching coach if that was in the cards for me. But it, you know, I, I enjoy you know teaching these young kids, and, and if I get the opportunity to move up the ladder through my career, you know, I'm going to take those chances as, as I did with a player, and hopefully run with them and keep making you know younger men at that at those levels better and. You know, and if I get acknowledgement for it, that's great. But if I get the players better, that's all that matters. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Great to have you here. Thank you so much, Tim. Let's go back to the studio.